the Orange will deal with during the regular season. Left wing, here's Fundren. Shot clock reads six as Korn attacks the lane. Righty floater off glass is good as Fundren had a strong outing yesterday. Scores her first two points for a 4-2 lead. Then we see people who are, who are wide open cutting to the basket just like we just got on this inbounds play here. Ovivari in the Czech Republic as we're back to action here with Syracuse a 9-5 lead halfway through the first quarter with Fundren attacking the lane and scoring. So Korn now has four. But they're going to do a very good job of moving the ball. So, so you, you can always rest assured that they're going to do a very good job of that. They're going to get the ball side to side. 15 to go in the first quarter. Morrison has the ball out top. Lobs to a cutting forward in the lane. Up strong with the left and scores. Spread out for Maggie. A high screen set by Ford who's playing the center right now. Kicks left wing by not. Danielle will launch a three and knock it down. Q's going to coach, <laughs> call the game, and film the game this season. His grant to launch a right wing three, no good. Brandon Day has been in control inside. Snagged the rebound. Strong back up and scores as she now has nine. But after this orange possession as Butler will launch from the left elbow and hit a 15-foot jumper. What we do, so it's not a, a drop-off at all. Vaughn's a, Vaughn, Vaughn's a very good coach. He does a good job of, of getting our players playing and it's fun to, fun to watch. It's a great experience. Here comes Korn across the midcourt line. Look away pass to a wide open Ford for the easy layup. Fondren trapped. Got it to the right wing Ford. Passed up the open three for a better look for the quarter from Butler. And that's it. The extra pass gives the orange three. And it's 41 now to 20. And Syracuse will go again. Day cutting to the basket. Got a nice feed from Fondren. Cut across the lane. Spun to the ribbon. Scored. Brad Day now at 13 and a half. And dribble handoff into the arms of Morrison. Whips left, Fondra to launch a rarely taken three and hit. They're falling for everyone today, Q. She's got seven now as Korn hits from the outside. As Grant in the corner instead drives, sees open right to the rim and scores. So Maggie's put it on the deck a couple times today and got into the rim. She's got six. Good to start the quarter as Morrison zips it ahead. Grant having a quarter transition three for Abby and nestles it in. Abby Grant's first three is now all three freshmen in the scorebook today. Left wing. Here's Minot inside to Chandler, who elevates and scores the side of the lane. It was something. It was a, it was a, it was a lot of port. It was a <laughs> lot of port. As Jade Phillips hit her, hits her fourth three of the game, she's got 12. Just filling and delicious as Phillips will drive the left baseline and hit another. How about Jade Phillips here, Q? she got 16 points right now, really showing up here in the second half here tonight. Steal now and is about to go one-on-one. -on -one. Back to the defender down. Look away pass to Chandler to the rim, and the layup is good. A freshman connection here with 2.12 to go. All right, Q, thanks a lot. That's going to wrap it up today. Your final score, Syracuse 97, Locomotiva 56. The Orange wrap up this European trip. Forward run for Coach Q. I'm Brian Higgins. Thanks for joining us all week long right here on QSTV on QS.com.